Okay, it's Roger Mudfoss Universe. You're going to try to hold a straight face and not burst into hysterical laughter. Electromagnetic waves are quite independent of matter. They are the kind of waves that can exist without any matter being there. For instance, the heat and light from the sun is electromagnetic waves, although they're coming across empty space. To a physicist, these electromagnetic waves, electromagnetic waves are almost one half of physics. To a physicist, it doesn't matter because they have no clue. I'm going to show you. There's nothing whatsoever about electromagnetic, wa electromagnetic waves coming through empty space. Space is loaded with particles. We know that now. This has been 1915. Maybe they didn't know that. But they should just be able to see that on a comet and not make these ridiculous statements. This guy won a Nobel Prize for that. And of course, they still love Einstein for his speed of light can't change, and that's just absolutely ridiculous. This is a wave of light. So is a wave, is light is a wave or a particle? Well, I'm going to show you that it's both, but it isn't both in the way he said. Now, this is light, and this is the trueness of light. That is the wave we just saw. Now, it's being stretched, and that is the particle, and it's just like an airplane breaking the speed of sound. The airplane is, is an airplane, it's a, it's a projectile, and the wave that it makes is what it comes through. Now I'm going to show you what light really is, and it obviously is accelerated here. So Einstein was totally wrong. It is a particle, it comes through space creating a wave, spinning, sizzling through space. It can accelerate, it can turn into plasma. The positives and the negatives separate there. All right, this is the spinning pattern that light makes through a venturi impressed on a wall. Okay, I'm going to explain to you. These particles that we see coming through here are positive and negative. They're dipoles, back to back. When they enter this crusher venturi, it separates the particles from positive and negative. The white being, to me, negative and a black being positive, or I don't care how you code them, but one's negative and one's the other side positive. Now you might ask me how I know they separated. You see the dark spots here? This is pure, absolute, brilliant white. There's some black over here that's fake coming back out of there. That's called reverse EMF, electromotive force. This is the forward bias force. It has crushed all of these particles into, their, into each other's regions. They're not supposed to be there. They're not allowed. They, as you saw, that wave is like huge. Now they're like this. Every one of these particles is forced into each other's regions. Somehow it separates the darkness from the light. That's all I can tell you. Then they come back together as they hit this transition and then they turn into this. That's the accelerator. Particles coming this way. They, you can see them. There's a dark and a white to them. Dark and a white, dark and a white, dark and a white. But right here they display as they begin to slow down. And I can see a difference in the size of the expansion and the spikes and then I think they start to compress and you start to lose those spikes and then they turn flat like this. I can't explain this other than the fact that they are concussing and they are slowing down. All right, this is a light spinning. That's the particle. They're all the same particles. This one's more visible because it's more energetic. It's spun through the center apparently and these are on the sides. And this is the sp the expanded portion and here it's starting to compress as it slows down. Light can accelerate, it can slow down, it spins to the right, it's a particle, it has a, a wave look effect to it, yes, but it's a particle. It has mass. Okay, I'm not going to go into it now, but electron flood theory is the absolute, it, it covers everything. There's nothing that is not workable with electron flood theory, where there is only two particles. I have a lot of videos on it and I have it written up in papers and I need somebody to take a look at it.